Hey second geners, welcome back. In this video we're going to be taking a look at this steering shaft. This one's kind of nasty. It's broke, busted, and quite frankly it's disgusting. I'm going to show you how to restore it and make it look like we were never there. Stick around. Okay guys, before we actually get started in disassembling this uh, steering shaft I uh, just want to take a quick inventory of it and uh, one of the things I want you to notice so basically with the bolt being down this little indention is going to be setting at 11 o'clock and that's the way we want to put it back together I've checked it on several others and they're they're like that as well also don't forget to take some good quality photos using a digital camera or your cell phone. Alright so after cleaning this just a little bit getting the biggest part of the crud off I do notice that uh, this uh, top part of this steering shaft has been pried on pretty good and uh, so it's damaged. Not to worry because we've got some spare parts and uh, the shaft looks like it's pretty good. You know all that dirt and grease sometimes will protect the metal from actually rusting and uh, that can be a good thing but in this case we definitely will have to replace this top part. So my next step on this uh, steering shaft disassembly is going to be this clip right here and you guys know by watching this channel that I'm a big fan of the original fasteners and these are a pain to take off without the right tool. And I don't happen to have a tool for this. I'll tell you what I've done in the past. Here's a better look at this clip. This is a spare that I have. These break pretty easy. But what I have done to get these off in the past is use a pair of right angle snap ring pliers. And I come right in here on the bottom. And I'll, I'll work half of it and kind of move it down. And then I'll do the same thing on the top part of it and kind of move it down. If you get too aggressive, you will snap part of it. I'm sure there's a special tool for this, but I just don't happen to have one. So these old cheap tools I have, they just come right apart with a set screw. And here's what I'm thinking about doing. Coming in here with this piece, welding it to this piece right here. And therefore we've got uh, two on the smaller ones and this one on this middle one. And when we squeeze the pliers in theory, it should release a tension. It should open this up. kind of got two different problems. I'm trying to get it over this swell part. Probably a bit easier just to cut it. And then the boot is also wanting to slide with me as I try to move it. Let me just try to hold this part of it. Success. So I actually think on a new boot this will work well. One thing about it, we're going to find out. I like it. And who's to say I almost threw this old cheap set of pliers away. And now we've got a tool made for these steering shafts. I should have made one of these years ago. 
So let's take this one out since it's not really damaged. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is just clean out some of this goop. 40 years of crud. Make it a little bit easier on us. So basically I've just rolled this piece up and this piece already popped out. Again, our steering column bolt is facing down. And this clip, this retainer was in there just like that. So there's a longer side and a shorter side. I did happen to find the next one in my parts stash that's actually a brand new one, still in the GM package. There's an idea of what a brand new one looks like. You can restore them as well and uh, we'll restore all the hardware to this steering shaft. The steering column bolt is down on the table. This should just press off of here like so. And then what you're going to have, you're going to have two bearing caps on each end and a keeper. There's nothing on the other side. The keeper is facing down like that and then the bearing caps. Alright, so we're coming up on our last step of disassembly and that's going to be to press this pin out. Before we actually press this pin out, we want to take some measurements. Basically, just a baseline to see exactly what the measurement is of the pin that sticks out. And uh, I'm basically just using my dial calipers, the end of it here, and uh, I've got it sitting right there on the end of it. I'm coming up with uh, 438 thousandths. When we go to drive this pin back in, we want to get it as centered as possible. This side right here may be 435 thousandths. On this particular shaft here with the broken boot, we'll call that one 437 thousandths. This one's right at 438 thousandths. found an article online and I'll put it in the description below. It talks about driving this pin out and one thing that it talked about was always driving the pin toward the chamfer side but I got to looking at some of these shafts that I have and basically on the ones that I have here both sides are chamfered so I guess it really doesn't matter the one with the busted boot both sides are chamfered on it But on this particular one, you can see right here, this side has a chamfer on it, and this side doesn't. So we want to drive this pin on this one, we want to drive it from this direction out through the chamfer part. I never had seen one without the chamfer on it until tonight. So driving this pin out is our last step of disassembly. So one thing that I want to caution you on when you drive this pin out, we're actually going to use a press. I have used a vise before and used a socket in a vise to press them out. But by doing that, this part of the shaft, this actually just taps on over the actual shaft itself but this part is easily damaged. This one's a damaged one. Somebody had already got a hold of this one before I did and I just actually just removed this part. The shaft is in actually really good shape on this one. If anybody has a source for these, uh, please let me know in the comments below because I could use a couple of them. But you can see right here, here's one that I have pressed out. And uh, I've noticed a few little indentions. 
and I guess that was from where the factory pressed the original pin in. I'm not sure really how critical this is, but you don't want to mar it up if you can keep from it. Basically, looking at these, and I believe these to be original, you can barely see two little lines through there. This one looks really good too. Nobody has touched these since they were new. So what I'm going to do to protect the shaft as much as possible is I'm going to wrap it with tape. And hopefully we get this pin pressed out. We'll be done with all this nasty grease. So there's that one. And I put a piece of tape on this side so I'll know that this is where the chamfer's at to drive the pin through this way. All right, so I'm just using a, a small bolt. Right. I'll give it a go. There's our pen. So I'm gonna call that a success. And now, my favorite part, getting rid of this grease. Also, during the reassembly, don't forget our clip first, then our new boot. <laughs> I like this new tool. So here we have it. We have our steering shaft disassembled and uh, still got to clean out this part with the grease and everything. Guys, if you want to see the restoration and assembly part of the steering shaft be sure to click right here and uh, also be sure to hit that subscribe button it just lets youtube know that you like the content helps push the channel out with all that said i appreciate each and every one of you and we'll catch you next time